So over the last few weeks, I've been teaching a lot of PED courses for a variety of uh, training establishments, and it's been, it's been fun. We're getting a lot of questions, though, about the way that you should correctly select your category within Annex 2 of the PED. This is actually a really straightforward thing to do. Uh, and it can be done very easily within the standard itself using Annex 2, which has all the tables in it. But a really easy way of doing it is to download one of the many PED calculators so you get an exact number. You're not trying to use a pen and a ruler within the graphs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a category selection and then using that understand what modules you need within your documentation and where your NOB would be involved. So one of the major sort of PD calculators which are up there is the one from LRQA. This is freely downloadable. You, you go, you put some data, some of your information in and it gives you a link to download the EXE file. Uh, I will drop the link for that within the description so you can go to it. It's a really good calculator. I like it. I use it a lot. So when you load up the, the calculator, you will get a screen saying, you know, for language selection, so of course, I select English. Uh, and then from that, what we've got here is step one. So this is to select the pressure equipment we're going to use. Now you can see down in here we've got a lot of different types of vessel, well, uh, product forms. Within PED, there's nine category selection tables, conformity tables. What we basically have is four for vessels, one for steam generator, and four for process piping. Uh, so understanding which one to use can be quite difficult and this is going to help us sort that out so you can just select any of your uh any of your systems you're going to be using i'll, I'll keep on vessels for the point of this but if you're unsure what to do there is all of these information buttons and if you you click on those it will come up and give you some sort of information about you know what a vessel is, what piping is, safety accessories and, and stuff like that. So that can be quite helpful. So let's go with vessel. And then the next one is to select the grouping of our fluid. So it's either dangerous or other. Now, group one for dangerous generally covers anything that's explosive, flammable, harmful in general that's the way in my mind i can if i'm doing a quick assessment is it is it gonna is it really gonna hurt somebody is it really dangerous other is anything that's not within group one now the definitions for group one is in ped but it comes from the clp uh directive so the uh what in that there's a big list that goes down and sort of ranges everything in group one again you can just go to the information button click that and you will see the uh, the, the, the breakdown of that so i want to say i don't know i've got hydrogen in it so it's a uh, dangerous group one and we'll, we'll keep it like that and if i had something like nitrogen i would go into group two then we've got to see whether it's a liquid or a gas. So if we're seeing hydrogen, we'll say it's a, it's in its gas form. From there, I've got my three main things which will help me select the table that I need out of the nine that exists in the directive. So for us, we're just going to click up on step two, and it's going to work that out. So it said, okay, from the information in step one, now you we're going to select table one. But if you were to select, I don't want this as a pipe, and then click it, it's got us to table six, you know. So it's, the selection of each one does make a big difference. So back to table one here. And you see it's, it's shown you a breakdown of the table from Annex 2, which is all there. We can look 
to add some information about the pressure our vessel is working at as well as the volume of that gas and when people think about PED they often just think about the pressure it's a standoff between pressure and the volume of the of the fluid you have so really if you've got a very small fluid then it doesn't it doesn't have as big of a danger as if you have a large amount or a large volume of that fluid so on here i can go my design pressure i'll come up with something so i'll just put okay 15 bar and we are working at i don't know how many liters 500 liters something like that um I'm going to say no it's not unstable it won't break down into other things over time so we'll leave it as no then I can click, uh, click step four and that's going to tell me right this is category four so category four is the highest uh, category of its type as you can see here we start in uh, article four paragraph three which is SAP sound engineering practice we'll do some more videos on that because that can be a little bit you know, there's a bit of difference in what sound engineering practice is but then we've got a uh, category one two three and the highest is four so you can see you can have a smaller volume of gas but at a higher pressure gets you into four or a low pressure but a higher volume also gets you into four uh, and you can see the red dot here plotted out on our uh, chart tells us exactly where we are so now we know we're at category four that is the most involved of all the categories uh, and will require quite a lot of information. So underneath here, we can see that there is the, um, the modules that we'll need from uh, Annex 3 within the PED. And that will go through and tell us exactly what we need. For example, uh, H1 is a module is a full engineering breakdown and design review but that also has to be sent to your nominated body for the, them to check it and make sure they agree with with what you've done and the assumptions you've made so that's using annex 2 to get a category tells us what we need out of annex 3 for our modules and of course we're already using annex 1 for our essential safety requirements where we've broken down what's in our design and how we've accounted for what our design needs being the strength of the, the unit how it's going to be used what might go wrong any potential misuse all of that type of thing in, in, in annex one so as you can see really straightforward really quick within a couple of seconds you can get your category and know where to start for your documentation this is the desktop version, so the PC version of the calculator, but you can also download it onto your phone and just very quickly check what a category might be when you may be doing an inspection or get a rough idea as you're tendering something out to how involved that vessel or the pressure system is going to be for you. So with that, that's, that's today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we are on our way to 500 subscribers, which is awesome. When we get to a thousand and hopefully we can get monetized, the funding that comes from that, no matter how big or how small, will go back into our Veteran Skills Academy um, and that will help train, UK, at the minute, UK Armed Forces uh, as they leave the military into Civvy Street. Uh, and we will continue to do videos. I think it's really good for us to be able to share as much knowledge as possible. And the way I get your feedback is for you to comment and, and hit subscribe and like down below. So remember to do that. And with that, that's it for today. So thanks very much. Uh, stay safe and good luck with your studies.